okay next is the file system implementation okay uh, how you are going to implement uh, the various uh, file systems in your uh, system okay car uh, computer okay so there are two ways in which you can implement a file system first one is on disk uh, implementation of file system uh, second one is in uh, memory uh, implementation of your file system okay so on disk and then it is uh, how you are implementing it on a secondary storage device okay so in memory and how do you implement the file system or uh, files and directories how do you implement inside a primary storage device we call it as in memory file system structure okay so in uh, uh, in hard disk how do you implement a file system and then so there are certain uh, things which we use while implementing file system on a secondary storage device so those are uh, called as boot control block volume control block and a directory structure per file system and per file details so, so these are the things which we normally use while implementing file system on a secondary storage device okay so the first one is boot control block now boot control block what it says and that and right so boot uh, there will be a certain uh, uh, amount of uh, blocks in your secondary storage device that is disk will be reserved for storing the operating system okay so which are all the blocks which are used for uh, uh, storing the operating system those informations are present in boot control block okay so that information will be taken care by this the next is volume control block now volume control block what it uh, uh, stores information is uh, your hard disk so how many partitions it has uh, uh, been made so that information it will be holding and what are all the sizes of each of these partitions so that information will be present in volume control block okay, so next is uh, the directory structure per file system now this is uh, uh, majorly used for uh, uh, identifying what uh, type of directory structure we we normally follow in our secondary storage so we have seen some four or to five directory structures like uh, single uh, level two level tree structure day cyclic so such uh, uh, structures which we have discussed already so out of them which one we are going to prefer anta so that information will be stored in directory structure file system so it is called as master file table anta karithu now so that file table will be holding the information about the directory structure so next thing is uh, per file details okay so every file which you are going to store in secondary storage device will be containing certain permissions like uh, who has to access that particular file whether the file should be in read or write mode or it should be in executable mode so those informations related to the file will be stored in per file details table okay so the next uh, uh, way of implementing file system is inside a primary storage that is called in memory file system okay so in uh, uh, implementing file system inside a memory so we will be having a uh, concept called file control block okay so a file control block uh, normally contains these informations about individual file okay like file permissions the date in which it has created so who are all the groups and owners of the file and so and so okay and uh, every file will be uh, represented inside a memory like this okay it will be suppose uh, a user has opened certain file okay it, this is a portion of the file which is opened by the user okay inside the operating system how the file will going to be accessed so it is through one of the directory structure okay so we have learned five directory structures so any of the one way your file has been organized okay so you have to access that particular file okay and your files will be in the form of uh, individual blocks correct so where those blocks are present in your hard disk so that is a secondary structure it will says okay so you have to group all those individual blocks 
and you have to bring those blocks into your operating system so that's how the user requested file will be accessed by the operating system okay so it is just for uh, an example which says when you want to open certain file and suppose you want to perform any operations on a file which is already stored in your disk in that case the same diagram will look like this assume that user as uh, user is trying to open a file for the read operation okay so in that case your, your first thing which you have to know is uh, the per process open file table concept so in per process open file table uh, concept so it has to check whether the file is dependent on any other additional uh, file files so that is the thing so to understand that one we are using a one file table called open file table so open file table we will use the information about what are all the uh, additional or extra files which are uh, necessary for opening the requested file which is made by the user for reading so that information will be present in the open file table once you get all these information by the operating system so it will fetch individual blocks of your file which you want to read okay so all those are requested here and all those are fetched by your file control block and the same thing will be updated in your open file table so that's how the read operation will be performed using in memory file system